Hello. Yep, this is what one side looks like. See how that works? There's like nothing over here. Naked face. And then you do this. If you want to know how I did this, which of course is not a perfect this, there's obviously some flaws like the line around the cutout. Let me use the other hand, right line around the cutout. The lines around the mask and the shadows around the mask are not perfect. I have been known to do better, but that takes outwards. No, literally. Takes me outwards. Because my hands are so shaky now. I did one back in 2018 that looks a heck of better. My hands weren't so shaky. Anyway, want to see what I did? How I did it? Hear all my blathering while I was doing it? Right this way. Hello. How's everybody? Anyway, this is my next Halloween bit. And I'm going to do a piece that I've done a couple of times that's based on off of the Nikki Tutorials Power of Magic. You power of magic. Power of Makeup. Let's get this right. Power of Makeup. Where she did one half of her face with the makeup and one half she left bare. And when I did this one back in 2018 as my costume for traipsing around the town with my grandkids, I got a lot of great feedback, really. People stopped me to ask how I did it. They wanted to know if it was a really was a mask or if, you know, what was going on. So... I'm going to do it again, and unlike the 2018 version where I wasn't quite as clear about some of the stuff, I'm going to hopefully be a little more clear. Now, what I've done, since this is a technically naked face, is I've done all of the face washing. I put all of the serum stuff on and the moisturizer and that kind of thing. You know, did the toner, the moisturizer, yada, yada, yada. And then on this side of my face, this side of my face, I put some one of my favorite got this in one of the subscription boxes and I need to look it up because I love it. I'm going to be trying the e.l.f. Hydro Grip. We'll see how that goes but this stuff is delightful. Pineapple and Coconut. It's from Style Dry. And it's got horsetail plant extract, and it's called Prep and Prime Polishing Primer. And it smells wonderful. It feels good. It's kind of a thick gel, and it oh, it feels so good. Anyway, you know I've got the SPF on and all that, but I've only primed this side of my face. And that's the side I'm going to be working on. This side is, it's like, it's got all of the base stuff. But I'm not putting anything else on it. It's like, so far the only thing that you might call 
makeup is I've put some of my eye cream under the eyes just because. I mean, it's, it's kind of standard. You know, put the eye cream on because eyes. <clears throat> and at this point, I'm going to add a little more goop to this side of the face as soon as I figure out exactly where I put it. Move the brushes a little farther away from the microphone so I don't leave any <laughs> every time I move one. Anyway, this is another piece out of one of the subscription boxes. Jekka Black. B-L-A-C. Black. Glow Drops. Highlighting Primer for Face. Vegan Friendly. Cruelty Free. This is in a color called Rose Pearl. And I'm going to put a little bit of this primer in a couple of the high spots here and there, you know. Just to do a little bit of extra glow. Yes, I know, it's a double primer situation, but while the other primer, the uh, pineapple coconut is a basically kind of a milky or clear gel, this one is really glowy and it's it's got a tint to it. And yes, I'm currently using the monitor for a mirror. I mean, this is the easy part. I don't need a great deal of... ...detail with smearing stuff on my face. And yes, I'm putting some on the eye, even though I will put a little eye base on as well. And that's just because I'm me. This is another one of those things that I think is just absolutely delightful. It feels good. It puts a little glow in. It's not overbearing. But I have to look it up, since it was in a box, and find out how much it's going to be if I want to refill this. Okay. Yep. Forgot to get. No, I didn't. It's over here. Thought I forgot to get my eye primer. And no, I didn't. It's over here. But I did forget to get the correct brush. which is in this one. Now, technically, technically, the pot eye primer should just be, you know, stick your finger in it, stick it on your eye. I have a tendency though when I'm doing this particular version to go a little ham with the white eye primer as in like not just on the eye but under the eye
because I'm trying more to make this look like a mask than just a demonstration of the difference between naked and and makeup. Start shaking up the makeup just a little bit. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do, and this I probably should use the mirror for, is I'm going to draw a line. And this line actually ends up being kind of not just a guideline, but it becomes the beginning of where I start doing shading and stuff. to show the edge of the mask. This also reminds me of where I want foundation and where I don't necessarily want foundation. Now this is a cream eye makeup stick. I've used pencils I've used it doesn't matter what you use to line with to create this line what matters is that you've got a demarcation so that you know where you're planning to put the makeup planning planning now, usually, if you've been following me for a while, you know I usually do the eye makeup first and this other stuff. Later, I'm at least putting the foundation on. Yes, I'm shaking it up, and I turned it over. Now i got to turn it back this way because it's a pump. This is my usual standard e.l.f. in light ivory that I usually swear by. This is one of those that I rarely swear at. And just put it on the back of the hand and then start dabbing first so I get close to the line without necessarily smearing it too much yet. And when I'm doing this, I tend to put on a slightly heavier coat than I would for regular makeup. Just because we're going for effect as well as coverage. See through here, there's still some of that glow from that glowy primer. Now one of my biggest problems is when I start doing the eyes because I normally do one side and then the other as I go through each color and shape. I have been known to cross over 
and forget what I was doing and start coloring in the other eye. That's easy enough to fix. A little micellar water and you're all good again. But Yes, I know. I've got foundation in my eyebrows. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. But you can definitely see the difference between the sides. You've got a makeup over here, you've got nothing over here. And yes, it looks like I'm rolling my eyes whenever I look up at the monitor. While my head is still down. And then I've also got the naked bits outside of the lines all the way around. I've got my towel over here. So far, so good. Alrighty. Now, let's see what I'm going to do to the eyes. And since this is based off of Nikki Tutorials, I've got the Nikki Tutorials. Beauty Bay had a big sale. So, while they had a big sale, I got Nikki's palette. I've heard all kinds of different reviews on it still have the plastic in it I just got it I have all I've heard all kinds of reviews on it some people love it some people are not so thrilled let me see if I can keep from blinding people since there's mirrors on each side so there you go I still haven't decided which bits I'm using but we'll find out in a minute. Now try and remember that when you're doing this you're working on the idea of a mask. Here, let me fix this because I've got a lamp over here that's now was shining right off of one of the mirrors and went, you're kind of trying to create a mask so if you want to get really radical with your eye look now's the time let's see what am I going to do I think I'm going to do this one. Oh, oh man, you can't see nothing. Let me try this one. I'm picking up some browns to kind of start with, which has nothing to do with the brown shirt. But she's got three different brownie shades in here, including one 
that's really, really nice and will make a good deepening shade for the outer corner. It's a purple. Burp, 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 burp. Just kind of glop it in there. Mix it with a little bit of that brown in the crease. A little more purple. Like I said, I'm going to take that deep brown and darken this up at the edge just a little more. Dust, dust, dust. Clean off the brush just a little. And set that aside for a minute. Let's see. Now, yeah. no, I'm not putting a sparkle in yet. I'm not putting any shinies in yet. But I am going to put a bright. <laughs> Just because I like fiddling with color. If the colors you pick clash a little bit, who cares? If they make you happy, wear them. Okay, now, I'm looking at the monitor. The color in the pan that I just put on is this really nifty lime green. On the monitor currently, it's yellow. So what I am probably going to end up doing is when I go into edit, I will be adjusting the colors just a little. Pick up that dark brown, just a little of it, don't need a lot, just a little, and darken up this outer corner with just kind of a blob, blobby blob. I'm going to 
drag some of that dark brown down under the eye just a little ways. Not a lot, just a little. And I will probably put some of the other colors, or I might put completely different colors. Through the rest of the under eye. Now, let's see. some of this silvery color that's over here in the corner nah, I'm going to do this different This is another elf bit. It's kind of a glitter glue because this is very glitter in here. Do, 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 do. On that side, I have my glitter glue. On this side, I'm going to pick up the glitter. strokes just pat. Just patty cake. Flip it over, put a little more of the glitter. Goop. on the other part of the eye and pick up some more of the glitter and again just pat pat it in there get that little speck off the waterline because glitter in your eye sucks mightily.
shake it a little, but it's just bright silver. And kind of tap it right there. Just because. Perfect. Now, mine, oh yeah. I'm gonna spritz it a little. Just to start getting that part set. Because I don't want the eye to run away now that I've put it on, you know? And then I will do the rest of the eye in a bit. Santa Lucia. No, I can't sing. I used to be able to sing, and then I got all this coughing stuff going on from my lungs going out, or trying to go out, and now it's like I couldn't hold a note if you paid me. Now, I've got yet another elf. This one's called Santa Lucia, which is where the idea came from for the little off-key interlude. And it's a really nice bronzer and really subtle blusher combo. And yes, it's for yeah. him. No, they don't know me from Adam's house cat. No, I don't get any money from them. No, I don't get any free product except if I order enough. And then I get freebies with my orders. I'm just going to... Now, the bronzer and doing the sculpting thing will come in more handy once I start going around and I will be using a smaller brush to do kind of the sculpting thing to set off the mask however I am still going a little heavier with the colors and such for what I normally would do with the bronzer and even though the blush is kind of a subtle color there's going to be a bit more of that I mean we're the power of makeup was about the difference that makeup can make in the individual I mean if it makes you feel more confident then it's showing what's on the inside, not just what's on, not just skin deep. But this is meant to be a mask, which is a whole another ball of chili beans.
So if you ever want to do The Power of Makeup, the original one, just to show how makeup makes you feel, I would suggest you do it and then at least tag Nikki Tutorials in it so that she knows that you did it, so she can see it, so that she can understand that she's still making an impact. Okay. That's pretty good. This one pretty. This one pretty. I don't know if you can see or not. It's it's very white in the pan, but it's got kind of a green shift to it. So I'm going to put that on. This one is from Colored Rain. And it's another one that I got from a box and I appreciated the heck out of it is because I adore it. I really do. It's wonderful. I'm going to get really heavy with this. It's going to Oh, and I'm going to put some up here, across the top of the eyebrow, and just under the eyebrow. Glow it up. Do the alien good time girl here. Just because I can. Love this. It is ama amazing. This is one of the Focal Point Glow Lighters. No flash needed. I kind of, kind of miss my subscription boxes. I don't miss paying for them, but I kind of miss the, the oh look, it's Christmas <laughs> kind of, of reaction that I used to have when they came in. You know, you get what you get. You got what you got. Okay, let's see. Where am I now? Just threw my mirror in the floor. Oh good, it didn't break. <laughs> Here's another one. <clears throat> Let's see, I think... I think... No, really, I do. Now and then, anyway. Don't be mean. <laughs> anyway. I think I'll try putting my eyebrows on. Now, me putting my eyebrows on on camera doesn't happen all the time. Because I'm not great at it. However, my eyebrows have gotten better. I started off with the um, Grand serum that was from that doctor whoever and I started getting my eyebrows back and then elf came out with an eyebrow serum which was much more in my price range because the grand is like ugly numbers and no I don't stick my eyebrows to my face with any of the goop. I just don't. I 
just kind of slap them on and go about it. And at this point, they look a whole lot better than they used to. But like I said, I've got the e.l.f. Um, serum now. Instead of the grand, if you heard some brush on the uh, microphone, sorry. I've got a couple of stray hairs that are like a little below where I want them. But I don't do any of the picking like I used to do, plucking my eyebrows. Nope. <laughs> okay, now, I need to do some mascara and some liner. Maybe do some other stuff, like finish up under the eye. Maybe put a little pencil in the eye, eye in the lower waterline. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to use lashes. I don't know. I don't normally use them. The mask is a little more evident if I've got the lashes, but they're a pain in the butt. So I'm still debating. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. We'll find out in a few minutes. Anyway, I'm going to start with let's see that the one that I used for this? Probably. Okay. I think this one relatively clean. Yes. I'm going to start blending along the edge here. Just a little. So it's not quite so harsh. the things I'm going to be doing with this is taking some of that deeper brown eyeshadow I used in the corner here and going along this edge line to start giving it some more depth So that it does look like it's more of a shadow. And no, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're trying to give an impression. Some of us just paint things a bit better than others. If you've got somebody who's doing this who may be a makeup artist or special effects makeup artist, even better. Or somebody who's a painter who understand shadings and shadows and that stuff. 
they're very likely to do it better than somebody else. It's like, I'm not a makeup artist. I've learned a couple of tricks from my husband, who was a, a theatrical makeup artist and did some special effects stuff. And occasionally made latex appliances for some special effects. But, like I said, I've learned some stuff from him. Doesn't mean I remember all of it or know it well. just want it to stand out a little bit in comparison and you're going to want one side to be a little less standout-ish and that's usually the side where you've actually got it adhered down the best And the way I'm doing this is I'm putting the adhesive appearance or as close as I'm going to get to an adhesive appearance on this one so that it looks like it's laying flatter through here. So I'm not getting quite as broad with the brown spread. At any place that you overdo it on this side, just go through with your foundation brush and clean it up a little. It's like if you don't like that it's too thick somewhere, just clean it up a little. It's not a biggie. We haven't powdered anything. And I'm going to put just a little bit of this dark brown under here to create a shadow for the eye socket. And I will probably take an eyeliner and do kind of a line underneath the bottom of it so that it's A little more obvious it's supposed to be the eye socket. Is it going to be perfect? No. Is it going to look fun? Yeah. Now this is a slightly lighter brown. To change the shadow just a little bit over here. So that when I widen it out to be 
you know, it looked more like a shadow. Weird this isn't as heared as well. I'm going to leave the tighter line through here. Too much of the brown down in my highlights, so I'll fix that a little bit. Take my foundation brush, kind of scoot around on the inside of the line a little bit. Because, let's be real, there's always a little foundation left on the brush that hasn't quite dried. And you can always use it for little touches here and there. And if you don't have any foundation left on your brush that you can use for your little touches, take a half squirt. Take a small squirt. You don't have to completely redo everything. And no, it doesn't have to really look like a plastic mask unless you're that good at doing this stuff. Some people could probably make it look just like it's a plastic mask. I am not that people. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that's the black eyeliner. That's the black mascara. Where's the brown eyeliner? Yeah, brownie. Apparently I've hidden it for myself. line for that. there it is I was about to say the underline for the eye may have been black instead of the brown come on you thank you if it works now. A little fuzzy on the end. Oh, you're just going to be a creep. You're going to creep on me. Let's see if the black is working. Because if it's not, I have a fix.
Now, here we go, shaky hands trying to align the actual eye. Uh huh. And people can take it as they want. They really can. Because if I continue this line up this way and around, then the eyebrow becomes part of the mask and the eye is all yours. which is why you've got the shadow under here. Perfect line? Oh, hell no. Obviously, the mask was badly cut. Not really. smart alley. We all knew that. This was not news, guys. Not at all news. Okay. Take some of that lovely green. Yes, I know. It looks yellow. Like I said, it's a lime. And I will be fiddling with the colors just a bit once I get to editing. it won't. Mm 
Sometimes I have to take the sharpener to it a little bit. It's not very pigment dense to begin with, but See if I can find one of my more quote unquote pigment dense ones. This one's more of a teal green, and for those of you wondering, yes, it's a BH Cosmetics, which is an amazing pencil formula. I can only hope that Revolution doesn't squirrel it up, you know? Begging your pardon, I'll be right back. There, that's better. No sneezing. No sneezing. Yes. No sneezing at the camera. Alright. Now, before I... the mascara on. I'm going to give it a little spritz again. Yes, I spritzed the whole face mainly out of habit. Because I have a tendency to start over here and then come this way. Spritz. And you'll have to let me know after this comes out whether or not I managed to get the colors right on the on the edit since you now know that shadow is supposed to be a lime green. And it's a lime green matte. Shouldn't have been too much trouble. But now that I've spritzed that again, so it's going to stay put a little better. Now, you will probably, very possibly anyway, get a much cleaner line like around here if your hands are steady. Mine are not. They used to be much steadier. However, between fibro and neuropathy, they are no longer what they were. There are some times that I can't tell for sure if I'm even holding the pen or pencil and there are sometimes if the fibro is in the lead it hurts to hold the pen or pencil. It's like I've picked up a thorny long stem rose. that's got all those little tiny, fine thorns. Be 
because the florist forgot to take the scraper to it. Now the eyeliner and the mascara are both essence. I'm just sad that the brown doesn't work as well as I would like. Anyway, now, last trick is the lips on one bloody side. Get that smeared down a little more. One side. Now, what color is one side going to be? <laughs> Let's see. I've got Beauty Bakery. And this one is called Picnic on Peach Tree. And then I've got this one, which is Revolution Cranberry. I think either one of them would work, but... I think I'm going to go with the cranberry just because it will give the most contrast. From one side of my silly mouth to the other. See, I told you I'd do this. I went to the wrong side of my mouth. I do silly things. But, here we have a little cloth washcloth and a little micellar water, a little drop. And now I fixed it. Okay, let's try this again with a little less foobar. Ah, ah. Just a little less food bar.
and a bit more color. La 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 Perfect? No oh, hell no. Interesting. You betcha. It will get noticed. Whether or not yours looks spectacular is dependent on whether you're like going to sit there for hours and fiddle and futz and futz and fiddle which is technically what I did the first year I futzed and fiddled and fiddled and futzed and worked at it until I was practically blue in the face. Trying to get everything just right. And I'd still go out on Halloween like this just put on some funky clothes and go and walk around with my grandbabies. There's me, the way I wake up in the morning. Minus some of the uh, skin prep, like the SPF and the, um, moisturizer and that kind of stuff. There I am. There is me. And there is me when I've been playing. Perfect. Nah. Interesting, pretty much. I'm even going to take this eyeshadow stick again and use the mirror ding dong kind of lightly touch it there so it looks pretty much more like I've still got the mask thing going. But you can also see what makeup can do for your confidence. Not as much as doing just the plain this side's done, this side isn't. But you can see what it does for your confidence because of the way it changes you to what you feel is gorgeous. Anybody and if you don't believe, you can go watch, go look at some of the scandal sheets, the 
inquirer and such and see where somebody has run into a celebrity while they're just coming out of the gym or they're just doing their grocery shopping and their favorite makeup artist has not done their makeup for them. They look like the rest of us. Their makeup artists save their fanny on a regular basis. So, here's to being who and what you want to be. You can show them your plain Jane side, the one that you use to clean the house, the one that you're cooking dinner on a regular weeknight when you haven't been out, or even a weekend when you haven't been out. Here's the one that they see when you get out of the shower. And then here's the one you see and everybody else sees. When you decide to take some time for yourself. Have fun. Grab the color. Later. This is it. I know, the end of the other part already said later. That's okay. This is it. Be good. There is no bail money. Even on Halloween, there's no bail money. Had to spend it to buy candy. Okay? Be good to yourself. Be good to others for no reason other than the fact they're standing there talking to you. Or just walking by. Smile at them if you feel like it. If they say hi, say hi back. You don't have to get crazy. Because God knows you don't owe anybody a smile, especially if you come walking into a room go, why aren't you all smiling? Because we ain't. Anyway, be good to you first. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone else. You don't have the energy. You don't have the patience. Be good to yourself first. Unless it's an emergency and then you gotta kinda do your thing. Anyway, bye.